So today we're going to go over some basics of how to connect to your car with the VCM scanner, how to scan your car, and how to upload and download tunes. That's it. Um, I've had two or three requests in the last couple weeks on this because I've been doing some remote tuning and people were wondering, you know, how do you get it set up and how do you do it? How do you even get a tune off of your car or on your car? So this is going to be a very quick and uh, rudimentary video on how to just get a tune on and off of your car and make a log um, to send to me or your tuner or just for yourself to have. So first off, we're going to assume you need to, um, you've already had the software on the computer and I'm doing that because I don't want to uh, uninstall and reinstall and potentially have to upgrade, update my software. I like the versions I'm on. But so you're going to have a VCM editor, which that's the one that will change the parameters in the tune. So what you're going to do is just double click this one. That's the editor. And this is what puts the tunes on the cars and removes them from the car. I'm just using a beta warning. If you're not, you won't have this. So you can pretty much not worry about this error here or this message. And once you have the VCM editor open, all you do is plug it in to your computer. If you're using the MPV one, if you're using the two, you'll have like a Bluetooth, but that's for another video. It plugs into your OBD port to the MPV I pro is that you don't have to have the pro and then it plugs into your USB port. So once that is plugged up, simply turn the key forward, but do not start it. Pretty much like you're going to listen to music or whatever, but it has to be all the way on, not in your accessory position, but in your run position. Make sure all your accessories are off as that will drain your battery when you're doing this because it does take a few minutes. And now all you simply do is go up here to the read vehicle, click it, and it will pull up the information on your vehicle. You can gather the information to see, make sure everything comes up correctly. And once that gathers, you can see that I have the E38 computer and the T43 transmission computer. You're going to always read these entire and simply click read at the bottom. Now, you may have something extra down here that says FCSM or some kind of fuel control. You usually won't need to do that unless you're... Um, doing something with the fuel control module. Most of your basic stuff won't need that. So if you do have that, just hit do not read. Once that's done and you have this open, click read. It will go through reading the engine computer and then it will read the transmission computer. Do not click or touch anything while this is happening and uh, try to not disturb the cable because that could cause problems as well. Once this is loaded, I'll be back. Okay, so now as soon as it finishes, it will automatically pull up your last known area on your computer so you can store stuff there. Uh, for this, we're just going to put it on the desktop. Um, I'll have, I tune a lot of different vehicles, so I have different folders, but you can name it, you know, I'm going to just name this one G8 Test. And we're going to save it to my desktop. And then you just click Save. And as soon as you click Save, it's your tune is here so you can go in and you know go to the engine change things here go to the transmission change things there etc so with that being said we're not going to look into any changes today because now you know how to get the tune off of your car so now we're going to put the tune back onto the car with that we're going to just start over and just like before, you're going to open up the editor because that's how you take tunes off of your vehicle. That's how you put tunes onto your vehicle. And that's how you change the tunes or the calibrations. So we're going to open up the editor. And as it opens, it will usually open up the last known tune, which it did. And it is the one that we just did. But seeing as we're not going to, we're going to act like you never have opened it before. Um, simply go to File, Open, and then go to your desktop where you found it, where you saved it, and then there is G8 Test. 
So now you have your tune opened again. So if that was the tune that I sent you, you would find it, you would open it. And then as soon as you open it, the one right beside the green one where you read the vehicle, you write it. And to write it, you simply turn your vehicle to the run position and do not start it. Click right, the red one, the red arrow facing down, and click uh, unless someone, unless your tuner tells you otherwise, just right calibration for the engine, right calibration for the transmission. For most changes, there's no reason to write entire. Um, there are some reasons, but in most cases, there is not. And simply click right. It will go through the same uh, bar reading up. It'll erase your engine computer, write it. It'll erase your transmission computer, write it. And then when it's done, it will say completed. We're going to fake that and just say that it said completed. When it says completed, close that. Cycle your key off. And then crank the vehicle. That is how to read your tune and download a tune back onto your car. The next and last thing we're going to look at is how to scan your vehicle. Your tuner or you, if you're first time scanning it, just uh, the scanner is the one with the lightning bolt. This is how you read what the engine is doing when the engine is running. Or off with the key on, but most of the time running. So the same kind of thing, you will double click the VCM scanner and you can see the scanner opens. At that point, to connect to your vehicle, just like when you're reading or writing a tune, turn the key to the on position and connect to vehicle here. As you can see, it has the 2009 Pontiac open because that was the last log that we were on with the um, editor. So now that this is open, you can see what I was logging for in the last car that I was on. This may not always be what you need. Um, so you can simply go for vehicle, repo for so supported parameters and that will go through the system and pull up the most common things that 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 people want to see for this vehicle type that may or may not be what your tuner or what you want to look for but you can change those with configurations that have certain things set up in there maybe if you're trying to find transmission things or engine things you can calibrate you can make these whatever you choose. Um, and as you can see, I have several ones. Um, if your tuner sends you one they want you to read or use, do open con channel config and find wherever you saved it, maybe on the desktop or whatever, but you can see um, all the different ones I've used to scan with. Select that one. And then you then connect to the vehicle just like I was saying before. All right, so crank the vehicle again. And to start actually scanning the car, you hit start scanning. So now it has actually scanning the parameters that I have chosen over here to read. After you're done scanning or, do, or reading it or whatever, simply click the stop scanning and then once you stop scanning you can save this so before you leave log file save log file as and put it right back on your desktop would be the easiest, easiest thing for today we're just going to put g8 test same same name but this is a log file and not a tune file so save that and now you have saved that log you just did. To read the log, open the scanner back up by double clicking it and then log file open and find it on the desktop G8 test 
and you will see that it did the um, log here and you can go through and read the parameters that you want to see that the engine was doing throughout the log that you just made of course you can close that and manipulate the things you want to read for over here like i said you can choose those for what you're doing or if you have a person that's helping you tune they'll probably have a configuration they like to use and that should get you how to send a log to your tuner or save it so that you can review it to start changing things in your editor. I know that was a lot of words and not a lot of action, but I've had a few people ask and hopefully it'll help some people to just pull your tune, put your tune back on and make a log. Have a good, have a good one. Talk to you soon.